welcome the village Uche and Monica to the podcast. Yes. Welcome. <laughs> thank you, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Long time no see. What's that? Long time no see. Yeah, for sure. Last time we saw each other was 3DL, I believe. Yeah. You guys look great. It's so good to see you. I love how I always see just like the bottom half of Ashton's face. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's wearing his witch hat for the Halloween episode. He's the only one that dressed up. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't I didn't I'm just a witch. I just wear this all the time. Uh, there, there is actual. You can use to say wear a pirate hat. So, <laughs> Oh. We're going to be a pirate for today's episode. Are you? Hit the button. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah. So, usually the, uh, the first question that I ask people on the podcast is Who are you? Where do you come from? And what is your purpose? So, uh, Uche, you want to go first, and then Monica? Um, my name is Uche. Uh, I come from water, and my purpose is to breathe and to make sounds, to be sounds, to live sounds, and to move sound. That's about it. <laughs> Oh, my turn. Uh, my name is Monica. I am of the fire, and my purpose is to bring grace. Beautiful. Grace. Um, so, how would you describe the music that you play slash make? Um, well, it's kind of hard to, hard to answer because it's always evolving. It's always changing. It's changed so much, you know. Um, but, you know, it's, right now it's more so folk. More so like ambient soul folk, but I'm actually getting some electronic equipment here in a week or two. No big changes to come. That's awesome. Ashton is all about that. Uh... What are you getting? <laughs> hey, Asalita, what's up? Nice. Hey. I just got my back. Nice. They're so fun. So fun. That's awesome. Something else we really value in our music is the sense of community that revolves around it. Um, we are called Cosmic Village, and we like to think of everyone in the crowd as part of the village, villagers per se. So we also do it um, for the sense of community and to bring people together. Yeah, and it, you know, it's kind of a fine line. You know, I read something earlier today, and this chick said, the most important relationship you can have is with yourself. And I feel like to an extent that's true, you know, you have to love yourself, but at the end of the day, you wouldn't be anything without the community, you know? We're all interlocked in this web where if I was suddenly to not exist, you know, nobody, nothing would exist. If you were to not exist, nothing, you know, nothing would exist. So I think it's really important to remember that we all are in this together. Mm. And to bring that to an almost um, deeper metaphysical type of idea, um, I like to think of everybody's consciousness as waves, as relating to physics, of course, um, and how when a wave goes out into the world, the space-time web, they all uh, combine and create a new wave altogether. So we are really intertwined with everyone that's involved in our music and the people we make music with. Yeah, Maybe nice, just like super imposed waves. I always try to remember that when I write my songs that, you know, I'm, I'm not only just making music for myself, I'm making music for other people. You know, I feel like if I'm on stage healing myself, then everybody else participating will also be healed as long as they can, you know, enter, enter the space. Yeah, for sure. And you... Your, your main weapon of choice would be the ukulele? 
ukulele, yes. I uh, I did just start dabbling with violin a little bit ago, but you know, that's one of those instruments that takes years and years and years. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So how long have you been playing the ukulele? Um, I think two and a half years now. And uh, how long have you been playing ukulele for, Monica? Um, well, I originally started playing guitar. It's, I've played ukulele now for a couple Uh oh, we have a cutout. We'll cut out there for a second. Uh oh. We did? Oh, you. Yeah, right before you, you said, uh, I've been playing ukulele for, and then it cut out. Me? Uh, no, Monica. Um, consistently for a couple months. Uche is the one who actually got me into it, so. Yeah. How do you feel about the the ukulele compared to the guitar? Dude, it's funny you ask. I was just playing. There's a guitar somewhere down here that I was playing when I got here uh, earlier today, and I was thinking, man, you know, these songs with some of these songs would sound really good in acoustic guitar, and I guess it's just more like there's more of a it resonates more. Like it's almost like a thicker mm. vibration than ukulele. Yeah. Also, something that's funny is Uche actually plays a baritone ukulele, which is commonly tuned to the last four strings of a guitar. So in that yeah. way, it makes sense that she would like the guitar as well. But she does tune it slightly differently. Sweet. And... Um <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I know uh, Shantastic had a lot of questions that she wanted to ask you, and and before I like, before I just blabbled on about my questions, I wanted her to share or ask you some of hers. I was just kind of curious what um, maybe your favorite song was. Each of you, like, what's your favorite song that you guys play or that you've written? Yeah. That's a good one. <laughs> um, I really like it's like probably the corniest song that I've written, but I have this remix to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Uh, but it, I don't know, I think it's a pretty uplifting song, and it always like brings about a positive vibration, so I guess that'd be my favorite. But, That's the one that you had the live video for, right? Uh, yeah, we actually just filmed a live video for it. Uh, three days away. Okay. Johnny from Fist by Oba did that? Yeah. Awesome. He's awesome. Shout out to Johnny. Shout out to Johnny. Lullaby. Johnny, you are awesome. I'm really glad that we got to put that on the website for you guys and premiere it. That's awesome. Thank you so much for that. Yeah, we really do appreciate that. Thank you, guys. You guys are awesome. That was perfect. Perfect timing. Yeah, it was. That was just like the best way to close out festival season like, with all you guys in a dank ass cabin. Yeah. Local <laughs> location. Like, fuck yeah. 3D Owl was, was wonderful. And the cabins were really nice, and so were the hot showers. Hot showers? Yeah, they really yes. took care of everyone that was there. It the was food, awesome. The food and was the food bomb. was amazing. We yeah. had the coolest yeah. cabin <laughs> ever. <laughs> uh -huh. we were Vegetables. I thought that was awesome. <laughs> That's so uh, Uche, I see that you have a feathery object in your hair. <laughs> oh yes, it's in my hands now, actually. Oh, what is that? This is, was a gift from Monica, actually. Nice. She's the queen of feather pins. Wonderful. Do you guys have the uh, the one that you want to give away next to you? Oh, I don't. I didn't bring it. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> well, I figured I'd be sending it to whoever got it, so. Yeah. It will look, it'll be better and prettier or equal as <laughs> nice to this. <laughs> That's awesome. I saw Christina have one at 3DL, too. I moved it. What would it be like this? It'll be greater than or equal to this you know, beautiful. It's like that math symbol. <laughs> greater than or equal to. <laughs> Yep. Uh, and so if anybody wants to win that feather pin that you're talking about... Um, Actually, you can choose. You can choose between this one 
Or a mystery pig. <laughs> Which there's a picture of, so it's not that much. Yeah, if you want to see the picture of the other pig, it's not like an eBay away. scam. We're not trying to give you guys the crappy pin or anything. <laughs> if you want to see the picture of the pin, that's not this one that we're giving away. <laughs> just go to uh, the Cosmic Village Facebook page, and there will be a picture at the very top. Yes, I believe CeeLo also posted oh, it like that. So. Yeah, yeah. CeeLo posted a picture of it on the Project Bring Me to Life page. Yep, yep, it's everywhere. Um, so if you send <laughs> a question to Bring Me to Life Project at gmail.com, send a question for Cosmic Village, and uh, you could win the feather pin. I like that. That rhymed. That was really cute. Good job. I'll be back. <laughs> Oh, that's not gonna work because we're lagging. Yeah. <laughs> uh, do you wanna? Do you want Do you have your ukulele next to you? We do. Um, you wanna play a song for us, real quick? Sure. Yes. Uh, but you don't wanna play this song. Oh, I got it. We can play the Celestial. Do you like? Oh, sure. All right. The song is called The Celestial, and you can find a really awesome live music video for it on the internet at a place called YouTube. Just type in The Celestial Cosmic Village. Mm Thank you. 
creatures have surrendered to the celestial. The villagers have surrendered to the Definitely. So Wait, good. it was a little quiet. We were kind of far away. No, it was perfect. Good job. Yes. So, how long have you been singing for, UJ? Come on, Park. Um, not very long, actually. Uh, since I was a junior in high school, so uh, like. Uh, around the same time I've been playing ukulele, actually, two and a half years. Because I couldn't sing. I used to not be able to sing, but then I got a ukulele. And over time, the ukulele pretty much tuned my voice. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Uh... yeah there's a video I put on YouTube forever ago. It was The reason I got ukulele was so I could learn how to play somebody that I used to know by Gautier. <laughs> <laughs> there, there's, so I put this cover of me singing it on YouTube, and then I realized I couldn't really sing. <laughs> so I made it private, but it's still there. <laughs> I still go back every now and then just to see how much progress I made. Yeah. Was, uh, did you want to learn the song for um, a next partner? For what? For um, somebody that you used to know. Why did I want to learn it? Oh, I did learn it, yeah. That was the cover song I put on YouTube. <laughs> was it because you uh, were singing it for somebody specific? No, I just thought the song was the shit. Just because, like, I don't know, it was a cool song, and I found out about it before it got big. So, yeah. you know, one yeah. of those things. I was like, oh, this song's the shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> It's cool that you admit that you couldn't sing before that because um, I know I'm I'm like kind of in that area where I am kind of stuck here but almost getting good and I and I feel like uh, well Ashton Ashton said as well he he didn't really know how to sing before he started yeah I had the same exact experience where I posted a song on YouTube and then someone was like hey, you're really tone deaf I'm like, oh my god so I just started trying to match chords and keys with my voice, I'd use my guitar to like play a melody and like sing the melody over top and over time it just got easier. That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube paving the way it's for really independent <laughs> audits. Yeah, it's nice um, actually learning to sing by playing an instrument because you have to match your voice too as opposed to just singing by yourself and having no reference point, I think. Yep, definitely. So agree. It's so true. Hmm, interesting. So, what uh, what got you interested in uh, in playing music for both of you? Um, uh, I never. Honestly, I never really planned to play music. I just wanted to learn that cover song. <laughs> I'm, just, uh, I'm serious. Go T A got her into music apparently. Like, I just wanted to learn that cover song, and I just like kept playing after that, and then I just, it just never stops. Feels good. Yeah, I've always uh, loved music, and Uche is the one that gave me the chance to do it. So. Dude, I used to have the worst taste in music. Like, I would straight up listen to like Lil Wayne and Nicki Minaj and. You know, all the not necessarily like you know knocking them, but you know I definitely have a more conscious approach, mm -hmm. my whole approach when it comes to like what I listen to or what I put out as far as sound goes. For sure. Who are you listening to right now? Huh? Who are you We're listening to right you. <laughs> what are my? Oh, what like what songs? Um, this honestly, this is a really good song that you know the radio ruined. I don't know if you guys have heard that Waves by Mr. Prob song on the radio, but the original song was this really beautiful piano 
he had this guy with the piano. He had a whole orchestra behind him singing the song, and of course, the main the song that got famous was this radio edited like house music edition of this song. But mm. that's what that's that's why I'm listening to it. <laughs> I am uh, listening to psychedelic rock per huge, but um, currently my favorites are The Velvet Underground and Black Mountain, which is a new psychedelic band on the sea. Um, they're really kind of old schooly, which is cool. So that's what I'm into at the moment. Hmm. Black Mountain is uh, Asheville, right? I think that's Asheville. Yeah, actually, it's a funny fact I thought of that we were in Black Mountain when we were in Nashville for three days of life. Yeah. We were on Black Mountain. We were in a city called Black Mountain. I think it was Old Fort. Oh, was it? Well, Black Mountain was, was like nearby. next to it. Yeah. yeah. You two are so beautiful. I'm, I'm so honored to know both of you. Uh, likewise, CeeLo. Yeah, absolutely, dude. You are awesome as well. Thank you. I think it's dope that we're all in each other's lives, like somehow connected, and we just so happen to all get this awesome cabin. Yeah. Like, the last all awesome together, yeah. That was year. like summer camp with your best friend. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Scott actually had us move through, uh, like two or three different times, so it worked out perfectly. Yeah, I'll be there next year again. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm really excited. And uh, I've been really blessed to be able to go to multiple multiple festivals and witness you guys play music and uh, hang out with you a little bit and even play music with you a little bit. Uh, dude, Michigan's where it all started. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. CeeLo actually carried a big chunk of clay back from the creek for me, which we turned into an alien. And then married to a plastic penguin. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. Day two. got it on video. Oh, he actually Johnny Fistfight Lullaby. He taped a wedding between the penguin and the clay in Detroit, Michigan. Only in Detroit, Michigan, uh, will a mm-hmm. clay monster marry a penguin. <laughs> yeah, I remember that wedding. It was beautiful. Wasn't yeah. missed it. Barely. Well, we actually married them. He was the minister, as I recall. You know, I got to be a minister, dude. That was like... He was really excited about it, too, guys. He ran up to me to tell me that he was going to be the minister for it. Really? <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, me too. That was my first time in Michigan ever. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's cool. And yeah, Eminent Disclosure was amazing. I thought it was really well put together for a first year festival. Yeah, I agree. Super. Absolutely. That was a weird <laughs> time. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. Actually, I have like um, like four hours of footage because I I did a live stream on Google Hangout uh, for Eminent Disclosure. And uh, funny because Nick was like, he was like staring at my computer, like, what's going on here? And he just like, walked up to him and was staring at it for like five minutes. It is pretty funny. I'm pretty sure I'm in the background talking a lot until I realize it was <laughs> Anyway. Anyway, um, so we got about time for one more question, and then we're going to go to the energy forecast for this episode. So uh, one more question. Um, Mick Manlicky, did you have a question for them? Uh, no, nothing coming to mind. Okay, fantastic. Just who do you guys think is your biggest fan of supporters? Or what kind of crowd are you guys trying to reach the most? Uh, what type of, like, location-wise, or... Anything. It's, like, what's your, like, fan base? Who do you want to reach? Um, hmm. That's a really good question. Um, want to reach people, you know, more philosophical people, more contemplative people, people that, like, pretty much people that question their existence. Those are the types of people. Hmm. Yeah. Awesome. 
Do you have like a specific like inspirational process or anything that you go through to like get to your music? Uh, no, it's that's one of those things with how I never really plan to make music. You know, it all just it kind of flows out pretty easily, and sometimes I feel like I'm not exactly writing my lyrics, especially. You know, it's like I'll sometimes find that. I'll write a lyric and not even understand what it means, you know, for, until four months after I've written <laughs> the song, you know. Hmm. I really yeah. like your Twinkle version. <laughs> Thanks.